Hi, welcome to Healthy's deep dive video on setting up client groups. In this video, we will cover how to create a new client group, ways to add a client to a group, how to change a client's group, how to sync groups with other healthy features, and how to delete a group. Organizing your clients when in healthy into groups enables you to create workflows that support your business needs. By following the steps in this deep dive tutorial, you'll learn how to create and manage your client groups within healthy. Create a new client group. Creating a client group serves as a powerful way for you to control your client's experience and flow through healthy. As a wellness provider, creating client groups also allows you to manage clients differently. Automatically apply different settings to a group, associate different paperwork with a group, and more. To add a new group, click on the Clients tab within Healthy on the left-hand menu. Then click the Clients Group tab. You'll now see a list of groups if you've created any before. To create a new group, simply click the blue Create Group button. You'll be asked to give your group a name and you can always update the name in the future. Once created, you'll see your new group within your list. You can manage your group and settings by clicking the Action tab or the three dots next to your group. This will allow you to rename, request forms from your group, change the intake flow or the new client paperwork with your group, which we'll review later, and edit your group settings, which we'll also discuss in the next section. At Healthy, we see practitioners use groups in many different ways. Here are some examples of different groups that you can create. Perhaps you want to create adult clients versus pediatric clients. Perhaps you want to create groups for clients with different health conditions, such as diabetes. You can create groups for clients at different stages in the client journey, such as discovery call clients, initial client clients, and follow-up clients, or even just prospect or active clients. You can also create groups for different services that you offer, such as online programming versus counseling groups or virtual versus in-person clients. Ways to add a client to a group. When you add a new client to Healthy, you'll be able to sort them automatically into a new group. Within the Clients tab within Healthy, click Add Client. Here you'll be prompted to fill in their contact information and also select a group. You'll see a list of all of your current groups to choose from. You can then click Add. You can also automatically add clients to groups. Clients can be automatically added to a group when they purchase a package or book an appointment. This is not a requirement, it's only an option. Keep in mind, when a client purchases a package or books an appointment associated with a different group, they will be moved out of their current group and into the new one. If there's any paperwork associated with this new group that they have not completed already, they will be prompted to complete it. Clients cannot be in multiple groups at once. Let's walk through how to associate a client group with an appointment type. Apart from manually adding clients to a group, you can automatically associate a client with an appointment. This will ensure that clients are flowing and moving between groups in an efficient way. We're going to go to the Calendar tab.
click more and see your appointment types. For example, you'll see here the list of all of the appointment types and then you can see assigned groups if any have been assigned. This can be a really great way for you to flow clients between something like a discovery call and an initial client, initial assessment. For example, when a client first books a discovery call, you can automatically add them to a group called prospective clients. And once they book an initial assessment, they can now flow into a group called new clients. This can be done automatically by adjusting the association. You can do that by clicking the three tabs and clicking edit on the appointment type. To keep clients where they are when they book this appointment and not change their group, simply keep it at do not change clients group. To change the group, find the group that you would like to associate and select it. In this case, for our virtual follow-up appointment, we've decided to change the client's group to virtual clients. Click Save. You can change this at any time. Associating groups with packages is another way to automatically assign a client to a group, depending on which package they purchased. Let's go to the Packages tab. From Billing, select Client Packages. You can either create a new package or modify one that you already have existing. For example, let's edit this diabetes package. Click the arrow down and click edit. When you scroll through the appointment details, the package details, you'll see at the bottom the option to select a client group. Here, this package is already associated with general wellness clients, but in the case that we've created a new group, perhaps diabetes groups for this package, we can deselect that group and then find the correct group, such as the diabetic client group. Click save at the end to update this package. Syncing client groups with other healthy features. Within Healthy, one of the most powerful ways that you can utilize groups is to create different intake flows or onboarding paperwork with different groups. Let's walk through how to adjust the intake flow and associate it with a different client group. You can do so by going to Forms and Intake Flows. Either you can create a new intake flow or change the group association with an existing one. For example, one reason you may want to do this perhaps is if you created um, a group for adult clients and you've created a group for pediatric clients. Perhaps with your pediatric clients, you would like them to receive different paperwork. In that case, you would create a different intake flow and associate it with your pediatric group. In this example, what we're going to do is create a new intake flow quite quickly and call it pediatric flow. And then we're going to find our pediatric group to associate it with. You can associate multiple groups with the same intake flow. So if there is another group that you would like to associate with your pediatric flow, you can absolutely add them here. Then click Create. You'll now see an intake flow called Pediatric Flow associated with the group Pediatric Clients. You can manage the paperwork by clicking Manage and then customizing the paperwork that's associated with that flow. Sharing documents with a group is another great way to utilize the group feature. 
we're going to go to the Documents tab within Healthy. And here you'll see the option to either share a folder or an item within a folder. In this case, we're going to share telehealth resources with our virtual clients. So what we're going to do is go to the Actions tab and then click Share. We can already see any clients this, this uh, folder or resource has been shared with, or we can go here and we'll see a list to share with. We'll see automatically a list of our groups on top. I'm going to find our virtual clients group and I'm going to click Save. All the resources within this folder will now become visible to clients within our virtual clients group. They'll receive an email notification prompting them to log into Healthy and to access their resources. Another great way to customize your client's experience within Healthy by utilizing groups is to adjust the settings in the client engagement features for the entire group. Let me show you how to do this. First, go to your Clients tab and then click Client Groups. You can find a group that you'd like to adjust the settings for. Let's choose the Eating Disorder Clients group. Click the three dots on the side or the Actions tab and then click Edit Group Settings. This will bring you to the Settings page. This looks exactly the same at the global level and also within the individual, individual client's profile. You can adjust these settings on these three different levels. The default or global level, the group level, or the individual client level. If you change the settings at the group level, it will override any settings that you have set on the global level. It will not, however, replace any settings that you have individually set for a specific client's profile. When you scroll through the settings page, you'll see very different features and options to customize. The first is the food journaling section. You can totally customize what features of the food journal that your client will see. You can either turn them all on or even turn them all off. Simply click in the box to deselect the features your client would not like to see or you would not like your client to see in the food journaling tab. As this is an eating disorder group, we're simply going to click and only allow the client to take pictures of their food and we also want them to put their pre-meal and post-meal hunger cues in. As a note, you'll also see on the top an eating disorder default setting. If you click this, many of the settings below will automatically select and deselect based on what's generally appropriate for eating disorder clients. It will hide some sensitive information, such as the ability for clients to see their weight or their BMR, and it will also turn on more of these journaling features. Moving on to the next section, you'll see metrics. This is what clients can see and log within Healthy, such as their weight, BMR, body fat, waist circumference, BMI, etc. Where you see clients can track and view, you'll have the ability to select or deselect. In this case, we were using a eating disorder group as an example, so we'd like to keep these settings off. If perhaps this was your pediatric group, you may want to turn certain features on, such as the height growth chart or the weight growth chart. You'll also see the option to enable or disable some custom metrics that you've created. Perhaps you want to add in blood pressure or blood glucose levels, vitamin D levels, whichever of your custom metrics you think is appropriate for this group of clients. Past the custom group, custom metrics, you'll see fitness settings. So you can enable clients to track their workouts or enable clients to take selfies. You can also disable these by deselecting. You'll see an integrations section, which means you can allow clients in this group or disallow them 
to link fitness trackers such as Google Fit, Apple Health, and Fitbit. There are chat settings also available to you. You can adjust for this group if they are allowed to directly message you and if they're able to, to uh, participate in community chats. In some cases for a group, perhaps you don't want to allow them to directly message you and you only want them to participate in the group chats. And lastly, you'll see settings for goal reminders. The clients in this group can be reminded to complete their goals at a certain cadence, either daily, weekly, monthly, or not at all. And you can also determine if these notifications are sent via email or and through the mobile app. When you're done, click Save. And this will allow you to update the settings for this group. You'll see a notification reminding you that settings for individual clients will override both this group settings and the global settings. So if there is one client perhaps in this group that you would like to have a different experience with, you can adjust their settings by going into their specific client profile. Change a client's group. Clients can move into a new group either manually or automatically. Client groups associated with a different package or appointment type will automatically be moved into their new group if one is associated. If you'd like to manually change a client's group, you may do so from their client profile. To do this, go to the Clients tab and select your client. Then go to Actions from the menu and hit the tab for personal information. If you scroll through, you'll see the option to change their client group. Here you can change this group, so perhaps we wanna move this client into our nutrition client group. Then click Save. This client has now been moved into this new group. Just as I mentioned, when you change the group, the client will be prompted to fill out any paperwork associated with their new group, if there is any. They will not be asked to complete the same forms that they have already completed. Delete a client group. If you'd like to remove a group permanently, you can do so. Go to the Clients tab and click Client Group. Find the group that you would like to delete. Click the Actions tab on the right-hand side, or the three dots. From the settings, select Delete. If there is a client already in this group, you will be asked to change their group. Select a new group for this client, and then you'll be able to click Delete to permanently delete the group. Thank you for watching this healthy deep dive video. Be sure to check out our other deep dive videos. You can find additional resources to help you make the most of your healthy membership here.